Chad here with OneGS Digital Agency with a quick video on how to create an e-blast or email campaign or email template inside of Go High Level. First thing we're gonna do is log into your account. We're gonna go down here to marketing. Inside of marketing, you'll see this emails tab up here. There's an emails campaigns, an email template. We're gonna do a campaign. So this is basically a bulk e-blast uh, inside of Go High Level. As you can see, we've got some e-blasts, email campaigns that we've sent previously, and we want to make things easy on ourselves. So we'll just go ahead and duplicate a previous campaign. If, you're not, if you don't have one that you're duplicating, you'll just click here to start a new and then you can select email marketing templates you can build your own template by selecting blank uh, i absolutely recommend starting with a template if not if, if for nothing only then the actual footer that it creates for you so that's typically what i'll do i'll just choose a basic template and then i'll modify the footer because i believe having that footer on there makes things very professional and so we'll go ahead and duplicate this bad boy we're gonna go ahead and clone it. We're gonna open this up by clicking it. I'm gonna go ahead and get, so this picture I wish to keep. And now I'm gonna go ahead and copy the copy <laughs> that the client wishes to utilize. All right, I've copied the copy doesn't look a whole different, a lot different. Before I go ahead and paste it in here, I just want to make note of one thing. I want to make note of the font that says Arial right there and the size is 16 pixels. Because when I paste this in, sometimes uh, it changes the font. And so I want to change it back. So I'll go ahead and paste it. Boom, there we go. I pasted it in. It looks like it's still Arial 16X, 16 pixels. Yep, it looks like all the same. So we'll just keep that as is, no changes there. So there's our new copy. Uh, this here is a link, so I just want to make sure that we've got we've got this link correct here. So let me just open this. This is where they wish to go. KCIPaving.com contact. So we'll go back to our email. I'm going to highlight where the actual link. Go up here, click on link text, and see all this mumble jumble. That is not what we want. We're going to go ahead and change that to our actual URL. Here we go. Get rid of this, open a new window, save, and so now our link is correct. And you'll notice the link is a different color. If you wish to change that, you can do that by clicking up here uh, in this top left. There's this appearance button. There's this link button. And as you can see, you can change the style of your hyperlinks that you embed inside of your email by, change, by clicking this button. And you can add colors and change that uh, all day long and as you can see here's that professional footer i was talking about uh, and then we've got some some values um, listed in there as well so once we've got that up we'll go ahead and name this emergency winter repairs so we'll just go ahead and name this march we'll save it i'm going to send a test send test email send a test to Email subject, that is important. Boop. Okay, so now that we've got that test sent out, we'll definitely take a look at that. Now let's go ahead and send in schedule. So we'll click on send in schedule. We can send this right now, today, or we can schedule it. And there's not much difference between sending now and scheduling it. So I'm gonna go ahead and schedule this to begin tomorrow morning. So tomorrow morning is going to be 3, 4. We'll go ahead and start this at 7.30 a.m. Send your email. We're going to leave that as is. Send your name. We'll leave that as is. Subject line. Important. There we go. Preview header text. You can populate this if you wish. If not, it was going to pull the first couple of sentences from your email. That It will populate there. And so now we're going to choose our contacts. We'll go ahead and choose all contacts. There we go. So it's about 3,900 contacts. We want to track clicks. We want a UTM tracking, all that good stuff. Um, 
and then that's it. So then you just go ahead and schedule it and it will go ahead and send out all this in bulk. If you wish to send this out in batches, so for instance, sending 20 at a time every 30 minutes or 50 at a time or whatever your batch wishes to be, you would do that here, batch schedule. Uh, and so what's the advantage of doing it this way? This helps you, your email domain, to stay under the spam filter radar. Uh, so it's definitely recommended to do that, doing it like this. If you have a small list, 3,900 contacts is definitely a small list. And so we can go ahead and get away with doing batch sins. And so we'll go ahead and start this uh, tomorrow morning. We'll change the time to 7.30. Okay, confirm. Batch quantity, so what's our batch quantity? I'm gonna go ahead and put 50 repeats after 30 minutes. Boop, there we go. So every 30 minutes it's gonna send another 50 emails and it will do that Monday through Sunday. Uh, and it will do that from the hours of, the hours of 7.30 and and uh, let's say 6.30 p.m. There we go. Do, 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 do. We're ready to help anytime. That is our subject. Choose contacts. We have selected all contacts, 3920. There you go. Discover which links, track clicks, UTM tracking. Absolutely. You want to have all that in there. Here's a little preview of it. And we can go ahead and schedule this. All right, schedule. And there we have it, folks. And so it will bring us back to this main page. And as you can see, here it is right here, emergency winter repairs, execution date. It is set, it is scheduled to be executed on tomorrow. And there you have it. That is uh, how to create an email blast campaign inside of Go High Level.